Hi everyone, I hope that you're uh, great and doing okay. I'm on fire as usual. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about Swift for uh, Swift on Windows, uh, the official version, because yes, there was an unofficial version, which is not updated since a little while, as you can see here. But now, hopefully, there is an official version since end uh, 2020. So this is the official page uh, in this official Swift website. And we're going to see that you can uh, develop uh, native Windows applications uh, using uh, Swift, using uh, Windows SDK. Uh, there is also the, um, some specifics compared to Swift on uh, Mac OS uh, because Swift PM is not available. You need to use uh, CMake, Ninja, and uh, Windows uh, tools. But it's uh, still a work in progress, uh, as the documentation says. So we hope we see uh, much more uh, uh, features uh, coming uh, very soon. But we're going to go directly to the Get Started section. So I invite you to read further uh, information if you want about the current situation, the, the evolutions, and so on. And we're going to go to the Getting Started page here. So installing Swift, macOS, Linux. So this was available. By the way, you can install uh, Swift using... Uh, uh, WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux, and uh, have the Swift compiler, which is much more, uh, as I say, much more uh, uh, stable or much more uh, mature than Windows. But it's better to have the native uh, compiler, for, native for the platform. So you have, now we have the on Windows section, and we're gonna install, you're gonna install all these uh, dependencies which are required and some dependencies are recommended. So download the Visual Studio 2020, launch the installer, I'm gonna uh, step or look at the dependencies uh, one by one. Now that you have downloaded the Visual Studio installer, you can open it and have this beautiful window. Uh, so the first time uh, you, you won't see this, you will see something much more like this one. And what I advise you to do is to go directly to this tab, individual components, and uh, inspect the components one by one. So this, the first one is, uh, sorry, let's click. So the first one is uh, Microsoft Visual C uh, 142, V142. And um, the minimum version is 14. 0.25 and here I have selected 14.28 so it's it's okay the Windows Universal Runtime uh, it's, it's a French so uh, I need to translate maybe so let's just take a look at this uh, it's this one it's in SDK libraries and frameworks the Windows Universal Runtime so it's in French but you can do the translation for uh, your language uh, Windows 10 SDK uh, with a specific minimum version uh, 1700, uh, 17, uh, 17, 763 sorry <laughs> uh, and this is the version that I have installed but you can install a more recent version so just to be sure I have installed multiple versions but uh, you can just uh, stay with a more updated uh, version if you want to uh, reduce uh, space usage. And the recommended extensions, so the CMake tools for Windows, here, uh, CMake, this one, for Windows, not Linux. And the uh, Git and Python, uh, if you, uh, I think these tools, you can install them uh, independently uh, using other installers, like Chocolaty or uh, Scoop. Uh, by the way, I installed the Git with Scoop, so it's available on my terminal, but not uh, from Visual Studio Installer, but it should be okay. And Python also. Uh, you can install it from here, uh, but I installed it using uh, another uh, installer. Okay, once you install all these dependencies, uh, Swift should be available, uh, not uh, just this. Huh? So install the dependencies and go to the download page here. And... Uh, download the Windows 10 SDK. It's a setup. So download this and set up the Windows 10 uh, uh, SDK for uh, 
or a toolchain uh, or the Windows 10 release for uh, Swift uh, and you should be fine so after you install all this we need to do some more commands but we'll see this together so see you okay now that everything is installed and set up correctly uh, we can go to the next step which is support files so I don't think this is necessary for just running uh, Swift uh, because as I, as I said um, or maybe I didn't say it but I, uh, uh, I, I could get Swift uh, simple Swift programs to run uh, standard Swift uh, programs but uh, doing more sophisticated stuff like using uh, Windows SDK and so on I didn't get it to, to run so that's why it's not necessary I think this step if you want just to get uh, standard Swift running up and running but we don't uh, lose anything by doing it okay so um, in order to uh, run these scripts you should you can't do it on a, any regular terminal you need to launch launch the uh, visual studio command prompt and the uh, command prompt has two uh, versions if you if you want the xa64 and the x86 for 64-bit and 32-bit uh, CPUs. But here it's not clear. Uh, it says that we should use this one, the x64, but here they talk about x86. But anyway, we'll do it on the x64 uh, version. So what you can do is in your uh, open your Windows menu, uh, search for uh, native, uh, keyword native, you will see the two uh, command prompts uh, available and open the x64 one in administrator and once you do that you get this nice <laughs> if I can say that this clean uh, terminal and just uh, but it's not uh, I think it's not in administrator mode so we'll go ahead and open a new one uh, in administrator mode just a sec here we go here it is so this is at, uh, administrator because uh, you see the path which is system path so we're good and then just copy paste and run uh, each uh, every script uh, one by one like this um, one by one um, I, the, the prompt is requesting me to confirm uh, the overwrite because I already performed this step but you shouldn't do uh, this confirmation if you do it the first time and here we go yes here we go now we can check uh, that Swift is correctly up and running Swift version which is the latest version uh, as I am uh, doing the video however there are things that don't work yet uh, for example the REPL uh, do not work uh, so the interactive terminal uh, interactive, interactive Swift uh, command do not work yet or uh, not on my case, maybe uh, I missed something during the setup. But we can write, as I said, standard Swift program, build them, and uh, run them. That's what we're going to see next. So open Visual Studio Code, and we're going to do it right now. OK, we're back to our Visual Studio Code editor. And there is Swift code inside. So yeah, it's really amazing, crazy. We're using Visual Studio Code. On Windows to write and build Swift code. Uh, here I have created a simple Swift file, uh, standard code, nothing particular, and uh, we're gonna build this code. So you, as you can you will see, it is not uh, uh, really straightforward. It's a little, uh, it's more complex than uh, what you were used to do on Mac or on Linux. But it's uh, just the beginning, so uh, we have good uh, hope, great hopes for for the future. Okay, so now I'm gonna open a terminal, but not the open shell. So I'm gonna use uh, the extension called shell launcher to choose the the old school, as we can say, command prompt, uh, and launch some scripts. Uh, these scripts are available in the documentation or uh, in the in the forums. I found them in the forums. Yes, uh, Swift on Windows forums. So I'm gonna give you them right here. The first one is set the SDK root uh, path because it will be used later and here we set some swift flags in this command swift flags uh, are set in this command and then we can launch our build 
command swift compile output the executable file and here it's not hello but main.swift and we pass we are passing the swift flags if you don't pass the swift the swift flags uh, your build will uh, will fail okay so that's why we need to do this because swift flags swift flags are required and swift flags require to have the variable sdk root okay let's build this yes everything was great we have this binary file let's run it and it's great it works um, and here we go here is how to build swift code on uh, windows but just before uh, finishing uh, just a little tip create a build for a next uh, time uh, create a bat file a batch file for or a bad file, sorry, for uh, automating uh, these uh, instructions. And here we go here, main Swift, uh, the set commands. And next time that you make a modification, it's amazing. Uh, let's try to build it now with a new uh, script. Of course, we hope to have uh, more uh, sophisticated uh, more uh, easier uh, uh, experience but right now it works great so the uh, the code is compiled the binary is updated because here it's much better than great it's amazing okay here we go here you go here is the swift uh, for windows getting started or swift on windows getting started i hope you enjoyed you learned some new things and also you have you have more opportunities to have fun with uh, with swift so thanks and uh, see you later maybe for uh, other videos bye bye happy coding